Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Geo Guru. Today we're going to learn how to connect QGIS with a Claude AI model using the QGIS MCP plugin. In this video, we'll walk you through the detailed methodology and all the requirements needed to integrate this desktop-based AI model with QGIS. The GitHub repository for this plugin is provided in the link in the description below. The author of this repository is Mr. Juan Santis. So let's get started. To get started, you'll need to download all the necessary files by following the step-by-step -step guide provided in the GitHub repository. First and foremost, make sure you're using QGIS version 3.0 or above. In my case, I'm using QGIS 3.40 and it works perfectly fine. Next, you'll need to install the desktop version of Claude AI as this plugin is specifically designed to work with it. To do this, click on the Claude AI download link. Based on your operating system, for example, I'm using Windows, select the appropriate option. Once you choose your platform, the installer file will start downloading. After the download is complete, open the Claude AI application on your local machine. This will set up the Claude AI environment needed to connect with QGIS. The next requirement is to ensure that Python 3.10 or a later version is installed on your computer along with the UV Package Manager. The first step is to install the UV Package Manager, which can be done easily using Windows PowerShell. To begin, copy the command provided in the GitHub repository. Then, press the Windows key, search for Windows PowerShell and open it. Once PowerShell is open, Paste the command you copied from the GitHub page and hit enter. Within a few seconds, you should see a confirmation that the installation is complete. Once that's done, you can minimize PowerShell. The next step is to clone the GitHub repository to your local machine. You can do this using Git Bash. So make sure Git Bash is already installed on your system. Open Git Bash, navigate to the desired directory where you want to store the project and then type the command git clone, followed by pasting the link to the GitHub repository. This will create a local copy of the project on your machine. But if you're not interested in installing Git Bash on your system, there's an alternative and simpler way to get the files. Just go to the GitHub repository, click on the code button, and then select download zip. This will download the entire repository in a zip format. Once the zip file has been downloaded, locate it in your downloads folder or wherever it was saved. Extract the contents of the zip file and inside, you'll find the main GitHub repository folder. After that, I'll head over to the GitHub website and locate the steps for the folder named QGIS MCP plugin. This folder needs to be copied into the QGIS Profiles plugin directory on my local machine. To locate the QGIS Profile folder, I'll first open the QGIS desktop application. Once QGIS is open, go to the top menu and click on Settings, then select User Profiles and from there, choose Open Active Profile folder. Inside this profile folder, navigate to the Python directory and then open the plugins folder. This is where all custom or manually installed plugins need to be placed, especially those that cannot be installed directly through the QGIS plugin manager. Now, going back to the folder we downloaded earlier from the GitHub repository, I'll copy the entire QGIS MCP plugin folder and paste it inside this plugins folder in my QGIS profile. Once this step is complete, we need to restart QGIS to make the plugin available. So, I'll close QGIS and reopen it. After QGIS has launched again, I'll go to the Plugins menu and select Manage and Install Plugins. In the Plugin window, under the All tab, I'll search for MCP. I can now see the QGIS MCP plugin listed. I'll check the box next to it to enable it and then close the plugin manager. Now, if I go back to the plugins menu, 
I can see that the QGIS MCP plugin has been successfully installed and is now available for use. Now, after completing all the previous steps, the next thing we need to do is connect our Claude AI desktop version with the QGIS plugin. To begin this process, we'll first close QGIS to ensure a smooth connection setup. Next, I'll open the Claude AI desktop application. Once it's open, I'll navigate to the top menu and click on File, then go to Settings. Within the Settings window, I'll switch to the Developer tab. Under the Developer section, I'll click on Edit Config to make the necessary changes required for integration with QGIS. In the next step, we will modify JSO configuration file named cloud underscore desktop underscore config. You can open it in any text editor such as Notepad. By default, this file contains only a pair of empty curly braces. Now, from the GitHub repository, go to the section for cloud desktop integration and copy the entire configuration line provided there. Paste it into the JSO file. Within that configuration, you'll need to provide the full path to the SRC folder of the QGIS MCP plugin, which we downloaded earlier from GitHub. Navigate to the main repository folder on your local system, open the QGIS MCP folder, and then go into the SRC directory. Copy the full path of this SRC folder. While pasting the path into the JSO file, make sure to use double backslashes, backslash, backslash, right parenthesis instead of single ones. This is important to ensure proper parsing. Once the path is correctly entered, save the file and close it. Then go to File Exit to close Claude AI completely. Now, reopen QGIS and launch Claude AI again. Go to the Developer tab in Claude AI and you'll notice that a new QGIS command line interface using UV has been added. This means the connection setup is on track. Before proceeding further, I recommend opening the Log Messages panel in QGIS. You can find this under View Panels Log Messages. This panel will help you see real time feedback and potential error messages. Now, go to the Plugins menu. Locate the QGIS MCP plugin and click Add. Next, drag the plugin interface to a convenient spot on your screen and click on Start Server. You should now see a message indicating that the server is running on port 9867 and that the QGIS server has started successfully on localhost. Switch back to Claude AI and click on New Conversation or New Chat. You'll now notice a new option in the top command bar alongside Web Search. It says QGIS. Click on this QGIS option and you'll see a list of basic commands that can now be run directly from Claude AI. To work more efficiently, I like to split the screen, one half for Claude AI and the other for QGIS. To confirm that the connection is working, I'll simply type the command ping and hit enter. As you can see, the response pong confirms that the QGIS connection is successfully established. This is also reflected in the QGIS log panel, where you'll see the message handler execution complete. Let's now try a real task. I'll start by loading a shapefile dataset. Here, I have a shapefile called state underscore updated. I'll copy the path of the shapefile and then give a command to Claude AI. Load the vector layer from file path and hit enter. Claude AI processes the command. 
and as you can see, the vector layer is automatically added to the QGIS canvas. Now that the layer is loaded, let's try a simple analysis. We will try to change the symbology of this layer. We will give a prompt, change the symbology of this layer to outline green or whatever color you want. Now, you can see that the symbology of this layer is changed to outline blue color. Now we will try to create a choropleth map. In order to do so, I will prompt my AI, make a choropleth map. Using this layer and column name 2010 underscore mean. After hitting enter, we have to wait few minutes to process. Claude AI now begins processing the task. In the background, it is generating Python code using PYQGIS and executing it seamlessly. We can also seek the log panel of QGIS for status. Now you can see that, or the symbology of the layer is converted to show choropleth map. Now in order to save this map as JPG, we will prompt our AI to save this map in our desired path as JPG. Now, let's check the folder to verify if our JPG file has been generated correctly. Yes. Our desired JPG has been successfully created. This demonstrates just a glimpse of what you can achieve with a powerful integration between Claude AI and QGIS using the MCP plugin. From data loading and styling to advanced geospatial processing, many tasks can now be automated and simplified with AI assistance. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more such content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.